Characteristics po ng co-ownership pa? Ang co-ownership, number one, ang ibig sabihin ng co-ownership, more than one owner. Mm. So, ibig sabihin, marami ang owner sa isang property. Second, may isang property na divided into shares. Pwede pag-usapan na co-owners, pwede hati sila lahat, pwede 50-50 sila, pwede yung isa 20%, yung isa 30%, yung isa 50%, pwede ganun. Ibig sabihin, may isang property na divided into shares. But yung shares na yan is determined as to the amount kung ilang percentage ka. But hindi mo alam yung physical segregation. Well, what do you mean by physical segregation, MJ? For example, co-owner, tatlo ang co-owner na isang property. Mm. Hindi ninyo alam kung anong, anong portion ng property. Sa gitna ba? Sa harap ba? Sa likod ba? Sa gilid ba? Yun ang ibig sabihin ng co-ownership. Ibig sabihin, There is no definite as to the physical segregation. Kasi as long as hindi pa na partition ng property, hindi mo alam kung yes, you are the owner. But hindi determined or fixed kung sa gitna ba yung, yung property na share mo, sa gilid ba, sa likod ba, hindi alam. Yun tinatawag na there is no definite physical segregation of the property. And lastly, one of the characteristic of co-ownership, there is no juridical personality So, hindi mo pwede inimanda ang isang, isang tao as, as, as co-owners. Kung hindi, uh, in their person mo talaga dapat inimanda. Unlike yung mga corporation, na for example, ABC Corporation. Pwede mo inimanda yung ABC Corporation. But, yung co-ownership, hindi mo pwede inimanda si Pedro at si, at si Juan bilang co-owners. Kung hindi, inimanda mo sila bilang specific person.